Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll be drawing Minion with Adobe Fresco, which is a free app from iPad. You can also use an actual pencil and paper to draw with me. Now, let's get started. First, go to Pixel Brushes, scroll to the bottom and choose Sketching. Choose Pencils. And I'll usually use a red pencil for my draft. So I'm going to draw some structural lines. I'm going to draw a rectangle. So this will be the size of my minion. If you're using an actual paper and pencil, remember to make those structural lines really soft. If you're using Adobe Fresco like me, choose layer property on the right sidebar and lower the layer opacity so that we can draw on top of that. Now I'm going to open a new layer and start drawing the outline of my minion. This is just the draft, so your lines don't have to be perfect. If you're using an actual pencil to draw, remember to keep your strokes really light. Because this is just a draft, we're going to use a darker pencil to do the final sketch. Now that we have finished the outline of the body, we're going to draw the goggles. So I'm going to draw more structural lines and these two lines are going to indicate where my goggles are going to be. And I'm also going to draw a central line right in the middle of my minion. And now I'm going to lower the layer opacity of again and then I'm going to open a new layer and we can draw the, start drawing the goggles. The goggles are formed by two overlapping circles. If you look at my drawing, you can see that I'm making use of my structural lines. So both of my circles should be about the same size because I'm going to draw inside the structural lines. If you're not following your structural lines, then it's really hard for you to get to equal size circles. And then I'm going to draw two more smaller circles in the middle. So now we have the frame of our goggles. Now I'm going to erase the extra lines to keep our drawing clean and neat. And now I'm going to go ahead to draw the iris. I'm just going to draw the outline. We'll draw the details later. Now I'll go on to draw the side of the goggles. And then I'm going to draw it on the other side. However, you may realize that they are not the same because Bob's head is not facing towards the front but it is a little to the right. Now I'm going to shade the inside of the goggles to give it thickness so that they don't look like flat paper. Now I'm going to draw his mouth, just right below the goggles. And also his teeth. And his tongue. Now we are going to draw his overalls. When I'm drawing the outline of the overalls, I'm going to draw a little outside of the structural line of his body because I want to give his overalls some thickness. So do not trace the line we drew earlier. Now I'll go back to the structural lines layer and draw a line through his upper lip. This is the line to indicate where the hanging stripes will be. I'm going to draw a rectangle stripe 
as his hanging stripes on both sides. Also, I'm going to draw a little outside of his body to give thickness of the hanging stripes. And then I'm going to draw two circles on both sides as the button. And then I'm going to draw his front pocket. Now I'm going to draw his arms. So I'll draw two parallel lines at his arms and connect it to his body. And then I'm going to draw his gloves. Bob has three fingers. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But on the other side, the th direction of the thumb is on the opposite side. So you should draw his thumb closest to his body. Now I'm going to trace the rest of his head and his body. Down below his overalls, we can see the central line that we drew earlier extend from this line as the middle ground of both of his legs. Now, do not draw a flat line like this, this is wrong. We're going to draw a little curved line. So imagine that his legs are like a cylinder. So there should be a round circle in the middle. So I'm going to go to the layer that we drew our structural lines to show you that both his legs are like cylinders. So you see that we should draw a curved line instead of a flat line. Now I'll go ahead and draw his shoes. Now that we have almost finished the drafts, I'm going to lower the opacity and hide the other layers. Before I do the final sketch, Mm, I think that my the head is not round enough, so I'm going to make some final changes. After that, we are going to do the final sketch. Now I'm satisfied with my draft, so I'm going to choose a black pencil and trace all the lines. If you're using an actual pencil, you may switch to a darker pencil to trace the lines. That's why I said that we should keep our draft really soft, so that when you use a darker pencil to draw the lines, the lines will be more distinct and you can tell between your draft and your actual sketch. That's also the reason why I use a red pencil to do my first draft. So now you can see that when I switch to a black pencil, it's really easy to tell which are my final sketch and which are just my draft. And I'll continue to trace the lines. So if you want to skip to the part where I start drawing the iris, you can go to around 12 minutes. And that's where I'll teach you how to draw the details of the iris.
Now let's draw the details of the iris. So first trace the outline, draw two circles as the iris. And then I'm going to draw the pupils in the center of your iris. Now imagine in the pupil there's a hole, there's a black hole. And we're going to draw a lot of lines towards that hole. It's like the center is pulling all the lines towards it. And then we're going to draw some very very short lines also towards the center of the pupil and to make it more dense, to make the lines more dense like there are so many so many little lines being pulled towards the pupil and I'm going to add some longer lines that are touching the pupil Now we're going to add some reflection and lights on the iris to make it look more glassy. This area is, should be the lightest, so we're going to use an eraser and erase some black lines. If there are fewer black lines, it looks brighter and the iris will look more glassy. And I'm going to add some outlines on the iris to make it look rounder and also connect it with the short lines that we're drawing towards the pupil. Finally, to make your iris really pops out, we're going to use an eraser and erase this area to do the reflection. Now you can see this eye is really glassy. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. When you're done, you can hide your draft layer. Perfect! Now we're going to color the inside of the mouth and this is really the last step. Well done guys, we have finally finished drawing Bob. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and like. Please check out my next video on how to color Bob. I'll see you next time.